keep wearing the mask. Yes. So what's the hand in hand? Socially distanced, which I'm not doing. <laughs> I'm not going to get in trouble here. I wouldn't. Hey guys, welcome back. So we're going to catch up on a few topics that we've talked about before. So nothing crazy, nothing new, nothing scary, nothing you need to worry about. So we haven't talked about Hunter Biden in a while, but it's time. Hunter Biden is on a little press tour for his new memoir. He shouldn't be. Is that laptop yours? Uh, it's, it, you don't need the laptop. You got a book. <laughs> you got the book, it's all in the book. And I don't know. I, I truly... The, you don't know. The serious answer is that I truly do not know the answer to that. Did you leave a, a laptop with a repairman not in Wilmington? Not that I remember. Not, not that, that you I remember. remember. No. No. But whether or not um, somebody has my laptop, whether or not uh, it was... A, uh, my was hacked, whether or not there it, it exists a laptop at all, I truly don't know. Are you missing a laptop? Not that I know of, but, you know, I just said... I, well, I don't know. I know, but, but you know that is, this is... I really a, don't know okay. if the answer is. That's you don't know... Truthfully. How many people who sell memoirs are going to talk about their memoir and in the same breath say that they don't remember a major part of their life? Are we just going to keep letting that happen and not saying anything about it? It doesn't make sense. I'm sick of people doing it. Hillary Clinton did it. Bill Clinton did it. This bitch. We need to put an end to it now. He talks about the laptop. This is called the laptop from hell. He says he doesn't know if it was his. He says he doesn't know if that's his laptop. He says he doesn't know if he took a laptop in to get fixed and dropped it off. Yes or no if the laptop was yours. I don't have any yours. idea. I have no idea. So it could have been yours. Of course, certainly. It, 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 there could be a laptop out there that was stolen from me. There could be that I was hacked. It could be that there was the that it was Russian intelligence. It could be that it was stolen from me. His excuse, his out, is weak. It's as weak as it gets. <laughs> Read the book and you'll realize that I wasn't keeping uh, tabs on possessions very well for about a four year period of time. I did, again, you know, the period of my life that um, was difficult. It was, um, but, you know, I, I don't know. Using your drug abuse that you also had an excuse for, which was your brother's death, um, which is there ever really an appropriate time to start smoking crack? Is there ever really a good excuse for that? Using drug abuse as an excuse to not admit to these crimes is pathetic. Many people who have done very hard drugs for a very long time still apparently have more memory than Hunter Biden. You can't convince me that if Hunter Biden was so brain damaged, he could not remember anything to do with this laptop, anything about the contents in it, anything about dropping it off. Um, you can't convince me he could sit down and write a memoir. You can't convince me he could sit down and do an interview. You can't convince me he could sit here and still be so well-spoken. Sorry, not buying it. Everything in his body tells on him when he speaks. He's so much like his father, like the corrupt deadness in the eyes. Cheers. No, nothing, nothing, ever. Not a nickel. Not a nickel. Directly or indirectly? Directly or indirectly. Not a nickel ever, 100%, no. No, it is not true. I'm saying unequivocally, it never, never happened. And it didn't, it never happened. Honest people, for the most part, don't really have to think about what they say. They don't have to put that much thought into it, into basic questions if they're telling the truth. His body language directly shows you how much of an obvious and how much of a shitty liar he is. He's not good at it. We all know that's your laptop. Like you're not fooling anybody. We all know that's your laptop. It's fucking weird to not just admit it at this point. Now moving on, Matt Gates, our favorite fellow from last week. News in the scandal surrounding embattled Congressman Matt Gates. Sources are confirming a report in the New York Times that Gates asked former President Trump for a blanket presidential pardon weeks before Trump left office. And that request was ultimately denied. Word on the street is that before Trump left office, right before, Matt Gates went and asked him for a pardon. I think it's called an umbrella pardon or a blanket pardon. It's not just like for a certain incident, it's just like 
for all incidences. And he actually didn't ask for this pardon for just him. He asked for it for several Republicans. The reason why he would do such a thing is pretty fucking obvious to me. Democrats can't be trusted. But if you ask a liberal, it's because he's hiding so much. They label conservatives as conspiracy theorists. But what the fuck is this? What is this? Here's what the Supreme Court said. They said a pardon carries with it an imputation of guilt. And if you accept a pardon, that is virtually a confession of guilt. So if we extend the Supreme Court rationale to Matt Gates, what does it mean when you request a pardon, when you seek out a pardon? It obviously, if you apply the same rationale, has an imputation of guilt and could be viewed as a confession of guilt. The uh, the the Times is reporting that Matt Gates was asking for not just himself. He wanted a group of Republican congressmen uh, to get a pardon, which strikes me as just kind of asking for cover. You know, he wants Jim Jordan and a bunch of other people to be pardoned, including people who might not need one for any reason at all, uh, so that his pardon won't stand up. Yeah, you know what? Nobody wants to stand in a lineup by themselves because then you're the one who's going to get picked. Let's surround ourselves. Let's put ourselves in a bag of pardons and then maybe I'll get lost in the mix. But for that, no. Matt Gates wanted a blanket pardon. What does that mean? I want a pass, Mr. President, for all crimes I have ever committed in my life. And Lawrence, that is quite an ask. Anyone who has even a drop of common sense could tell you why such a thing would be done. Is it really true that liberals, to the fucking core of their beings, hate Trump so much and despise anyone around him that they really don't see why someone would ask for such a thing? Is that really something to ponder about for them? Something to have to fill in the blank for? I don't understand how they're not seeing why. Well, uh, we have our options. We have arrows in our quiver. The Democrats will take any opportunity and make any opportunity to fuck someone over that they do not agree with. If someone is outspoken against them, they will do whatever it takes to shut that person up or that group of people up by any means necessary. Duh. My guess is that it cannot be too healthy for the human brain to function in such denial for so long. Can't be healthy. Let me know your thoughts below, um, what you think about these two situations from two completely different but interesting men. Let me know if you're buying Hunter Biden's memoir. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it more than you could ever know. Please give it a like if you did, in fact, like it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.